Hello, ho, ho. Christmas again already? It only feels like yesterday it was St. Swithin's Day. But fear not, for I have been round to Poundland and all the assorted places. Well, actually, I think it's just Poundland this year. And I have gotten hold of... Things for Christmas that probably should not be. Let us begin with one of the most divisive things I think I've ever got for a Poundland special. Some people love it, some people hate it. I kind of hate it, and you've already seen it in the thumbnail. It is this. Hello, rubber duck. <laughs> right. So the concept behind this, I'm assuming, is it's a rubber duck dressed as a Christmas tree. It doesn't look like that at all. It looks like somebody's been sick on a rubber duck. There you are. Merry Christmas, everyone. There's also a Santa one and a... Uh, I think that is supposed to be a reindeer as opposed to a cross between a Christmas pudding and a duck, which is a horrifying thought. Well, there we are. Let's remove this uh, tag of death and... Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Can, can we frame that nicely? <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, wait, it's a little bit far out. There we are. There we are. Absolutely wonderful. Your new wallpaper, everyone. Vomit covered duck. Well, to be fair, it could be a load of snot from a giant. I mean, you don't know, do you? You just don't know. Yeah, it's an odd one. Some people have said it's strangely cute when I show it to them. A couple of them. Everybody else has had the same reaction I've had, which is this. Ah! And I feel that is the correct reaction. Right, what else have we got? Well, let's have a fibre optic Christmas tree. Lights up for the back of the sofa. It's already pretty much fallen out of the packet, so, uh, well, that was easy. Right, I've removed the battery thing, so I'm hoping the battery's in at work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, I was expecting a bit more fibre optic from it, but look, there's only a small handful of them. They're mostly just sticking out at weird angles. Oh. I thought, like, all the ends of it would light up. Oh, well, there you are. I suppose it was uh, a bit cheap for that. Oh, oh, that, that's, that's happened now. Um, you get back in there, and, uh, yeah, S super fiber optic mega Christmas. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to look on the receipt, actually, and see how much that was. That was one pound. Well, there we are. It's the traditional Poundland pricing, which you don't see that often anymore. For a pound, I'm not going to complain. Well, I am going to complain now. It's rubbish. But that is my only complaint. It's on the wonk now. No, 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 no. Straight to... Oh, the, the. I may have overcompensated slightly. <laughs> Great. Well, that'll do. Come along, Rudolph. You can save us from this horror. It's a light-up character. I'm guessing it's Rudolph, so uh, we're going to have the same pulsing nonsense as that, I presume. Oh, no, it's a bit more um, slow-changing. Okay. So it's supposed to be a, like a snowball that glows, but also a character. This looks like there was a giant scab-covered snowball, and it crushed Rudolph to death. And only his flat skin remains stuck to the snowball. <sighs> It's not the nicest of images for Christmas, really, is it? Also, and this is what really got me, there's sort of glue coming out of the eyes that looks like he's crying. <laughs> Saw his death coming, knew there was nothing he could do about it, and could only shed a tear for his destroyed future. Well, that's jolly, isn't it? Um, I might turn that one off, actually. And you can sit in the background there. Because it's happened again, folks! Santa's been shot in the face. I've never understood this thing of having these holes in these um, tea light holders for, you know, the light to come out. But they're in star shapes and it just looks like some sort of massive entrance wound from a gunshot or something. Poor old Santa here has been shot in the forehead and three times in the chin. And he looks really upset about it. Which, I mean, is understandable. It doesn't sound like a great thing to happen to you. But what... I, I... What did you do, Santa? Who did you put on the naughty list? And they weren't happy about it. I was going to say you need to tell us, but I think your mouth's been shot off, so that's probably not going to happen. Um, oh, God, it's the face. Look, look how upset he is. That's probably the only noise he can make now. Well, you sit back there, because now the time has come for something that's genuinely 
beautiful. Oh, I'm lying. It's just a lollipop. Elf on the shelf time, everyone. Yep, strawberry flavoured decorated mallow. They had a few of these, but the one at the front really was the absolute kicker. I feel like we may have looked at one of these before, but was the one we had before, if it did exist, crying as much as this one? Hang on, oh no, because I need to open this up. These are almost impossible to open, if I remember. Uh, hang on, we'll go in from the top, like the mavericks we are. Oh, there we are. Oh. And it's strawberry flavoured, apparently. Well, I'm glad they told us, because you'll never tell by the actual flavour. There we are. Yep. So there's a hole under his eye. For, for keeping spare change or something. And yeah, that's definitely crying. Also, there's not really any facial structure or nose or anything. Do, do they normally have noses, these um, elves on the shelf? Are they nose wielders? I'm not really sure. Well, I'm gonna take a bite of his hat. Mm. Oh God, it's highly flavored. I don't know if I'd get strawberry from that, but it's more strawberry than most of them, I think. Hmm. Yep. Very sugary, mildly unpleasant, not terrible. Oh, thanks, Elf on the Shelf. Sorry that you got so upset about it. Why didn't you go over there on this bit of plastic? Because, um, you know, I've just taken a bite out of it and it's all going to be damp and stick to things. And we don't want that happening. Not when we've got our... <laughs> this may be one of my favourites. This is from the Pet Isle section of Poundland. Dr. Seuss's The Grinch, pack of tennis balls. F you see, for dog Christmas, give the dog some tennis balls and you can throw it and they'll run after it and then catch it and then walk around with it in the mouth for a bit and then drop it and then there's all drool in it and then they'll lose it. And you know, you know how this goes. So how are these branded? Well, they look completely plain from this angle. They're not that bad. This one says rebel, or maybe it's the verb rebel. I don't know. Not entirely sure what that has to do with the Grinch and because he's a rebel because he didn't like Christmas and then he rebelled against his own beliefs because he did like Christmas? I don't know. I don't know at all. Dogs can't read. There's one with eyeballs on for that full Grinch experience and one just says Grinch on it. Why would dogs want branded things? It makes no sense. They don't give a flying potato if it's got the Grinch written on it or not as long as it's a thing they can chase after. I... <sighs> Right, let's just move on. These aren't any bloody gonks. Oh no! It's gonk time. There's always gonks. And we've got a three pack of Christmas gonks who look like hairy little blighters. Well, they're not gonks, are they? They're gnomes. We always say this, but I think unfortunately now these are so widespread. This is just what gonks have become, which is a tragedy. Right, what have we got? We've got grey sock. Okay, let's spin around that way. Gandalf the Grey here. Looks like he's made out of an old sock and a bit of wood. Th look, this, this guy's feet on backwards. Look. <laughs> look, he's got like these wooden clogs, but they're facing backwards. Great. Well, he's um, bloody Gandalf the Grey and his backwards legs. Sounds like the most entertaining stage show in all of um, Mordor. But uh, that's, yeah, I don't know. This one is also backwards. Absolutely tremendous. This is Gandalf the Beige. He makes gateway home computers from the 90s. And, oh, there's another beige. Oh no, this is sort of a mixture of the two. The beige and the gray. And this one, uh, does that have his... F I, I can't tell, I think, I think this has got one foot, f are these separate? Ah, okay. This appears to have one shoe the right way round and one shoe the wrong way round. Right. Let's just take a deep breath together. Ready? With me. In and out. And I've just spotted that the Grinch Tensible 3 pack was £3. They were £1 each. Those not actual tennis balls. That's quite incredible. Um, right, we need something to cheer us up now. And unfortunately all I've got is this. <laughs> It's a bit of wire! Yay! Another tea light holder. Although, I'll be honest, this looks more like a portable commode or something, doesn't it? It's really not great. Not great. So it's a bit of bent wire, very loosely in the shape... I mean, I'll try and show you the picture. This is sort of very loosely in the shape of a reindeer, I suppose? 
Looks like the burnt skeleton of a reindeer. A reindeer that's been in a horrible chemical fire. I don't know. Um, yeah, it carries around this pot. Apparently to put tea lights in. Kind of looks like something you'd crap in. It's not great. It's not great at all. And I bet if I put that over there, it looks even worse. I was right. Well, it's cracker time, but something special this year. For in Poundland, they had, for six pounds, quite a pricey one for Poundland, boom, absolutely massive 10 deluxe crackers. These things are huge, and I'm hoping they don't just have a really crap plastic moustache in it that cuts all your nose up. I'm hoping for something more impressive. Right, let's grab one out. Oh, God. They are massive! Look at this! You can look like a right posh guy by having these till probably you open them up. And less than a pound each. There's probably a good reason for that. Right, so lots of cardboard and a uh, sort of stylized reindeer on the front. Pull them and... Ooh! Very loud snap. Well done. And a bulldog clip has come out. That's the gift. Silver stationery. Interesting. Well, an, an aluminium <laughs> bulldog clip. Very useful to uh, collate all your jokes afterwards. Is there anything else? There's got to be a hat, surely. Yep, there is a hat. Um, and ooh, actual little bits of... Uh, sort of... I hesitate to say fabric, uh, slightly plasticky fabric, but it does the job, it does the job. Now the question is, can I put the hat on without it ripping? Because they always do, because they're too small and made of paper an atom wide. Here we go. Yes! It is a success! Look at that! Well done, hat. Well, you can't look at that because I've had to take it off because I've got, like, a cap on with a microphone stuck to it. But it went over the top and it didn't rip. Thumbs up. Here's the joke. Oh God. Why does Father Christmas go down the chimney? Because it soots him. Let's, do, let's just do the breathing exercise again, everyone. In and out. Right, <clears throat> next. Quote, Christmas is not as much about opening our presents as opening our hearts. From Janice Mediterre who died when she tore her chest cavity open and ripped open her left ventricle on Christmas Day. Ah, what a time it was. Right, we're totally having another one of those. Just need to see all the exciting gifts. I mean, we've got a bulldog clip. What could be next? Some staples? Oh, that one didn't put... There we are. Oh, quality snaps. Right. We've got... A twisted metal puzzle. <laughs> Anyone following the advent calendars will know why I'm about to do this. Go over there with the bloody duck we threw over there earlier. Right, <clears throat> wait for it. What do snowmen eat for breakfast? Snowflakes. Because it, it sounds like corn flakes. <clears throat> Quote, I will honour Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. Charles Dickens. Now, come on, isn't that a quote from A Christmas Carol, and it's actually Ebenezer Scrooge who says that. So whilst technically you can attribute it to Charles Dickens, it's actually a fictional character he wrote. I mean, that's, that doesn't seem right, that you attribute, like, what a fictional character says to an author. Because what if you've written a load of villains or something? You know, I will crush the rebel scum, George Lucas. You know, that's not actually something he said in real life. I wouldn't have thought. Right, we're going to do two more crackers quickly. Cracker the first. Here we go. Uh oh, wait for it. Oh, ho, ho, ho! my God, that actually made my ears ring. They, they are top quality snaps in these. Absolutely top quality. And oh, a crappy plastic paper clip thing. Or bookmark, maybe. Uh, that's, that, that's a bit naff after the two metal ones. Another hat, obviously. Are they all green, the hats? No, no, no. This one's purple. No, no. Okay. Uh, wait for the joke. What does... It's that one again. Snowmen and Charles Dickens. Good. Right. Marvellous. Okay, let's do another silver one. Come on. Something more impressive than this. Why do these... Th they don't seem to be packaged together very well because these snap bits are never through the actual handle. Ouch. That was a good one. And... Wait for it. Oh, the, the hat just shot off there. Oh. 
What is das? Hang on. Looks like a key ring of some type. Yep, it's got a key ring loop on it. And it is a little clasp sort of thing. No, it isn't a clasp. No, it's just been really badly moulded out of cheap metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird mutant heart key ring. See, it looks like there's a clasp or something, but no, it's it's just literally bad moulding. Good, right? <clears throat> what do the reindeer sing to Father Christmas on his birthday? Freeze a jolly good fellow. That, that barely works. Quote, Christmas is the day that holds all time together. Alexander Smith. Right, that's enough of those. Now I'm lying, I'm going to do one more. One more, come on. Come on, we can do it. Give us something more interesting as the gift. What we got? Our novelty is a shit plastic spinning top. No! At least the others were made of metal or something, apart from the crap plastic paperclip. Let's not worry about it, right? And the joke is, why does Santa have three gardens so he can ho, ho, ho? You don't need three gardens for that, you just need three hoes. That came out wrong. Every gift which is given, even though it be small, is in reality great if it is given with affection. Pindar. Um, there also seems to be a typo in it. Every gift which is given, even though is be small. Let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it at all. Because we need to end on the finest of our traditions. Mm. From our old Christmas colouring book from Poundland. Yay! What imagery can we find this year? And the answer is, wherever I just stuck my finger, it'll do. Right, um, okay, that's um, somebody in a hat and somebody not in a hat sitting on a fence. There's a serious problem with the legs there. I think they're trying to make it look like she's sitting forward, but it just looks like she's falling off and her legs are short. There's some cabbages or something and a bird with a hat on. Tremendous. I'm trying not to show you the other page because it's frightening. <coughs> what is that? What is... Hang on. We've got to actually manoeuvre the camera for this. This is astonishing. It's the Christmas kidney. <laughs> what is it? Something with giant boots. Looks like they don't fit because it's looking at them as if it's much so. Oh, it's no good. What is it supposed to be? It's like a Father Christmas, but he's a potato? I... <sighs> Well, the Christmas kidney, that's our new um, thing we're taking away this year. What next? Spherical Father Christmas is being given flowers by a weird elf next to a bent fence. Okay. A <laughs> dog's face! <laughs> so a plump bird is bringing up some, a slice of cake or something for the dog. I think it's that. Okay, look at the dog. <laughs> How are you doing, Fido? <laughs> Absolutely astonishing. Right, go on, we'll have two more. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my right, we'll ignore the drugged up fish here. Have you found Nemo? No, because he doesn't know where he is himself. Um, look at... <laughs> So Santa's diving in a pool, he's taking his shirt off, he's got a sack of presents or something that appears to be sentient strapped to his back. And um, what is this? Why is his pocket open? Is, has he had his pocket picked? I, uh, what, uh, right, <clears throat> moving on to the next page. There's an elf visiting the zoo and a festive uh, uh, pair of lions or something. Uh, maybe a panther that hasn't been coloured in, I don't know. And that one's biting its tail because reason... Right, look, give us two. Give us something vaguely normal, at least. There we are. It's an elf in his house. He's got almost no face. But let's... Why has he got a bloody great giraffe? Why has the giraffe got spines? Like a dinosaur. Like, oh, sorry. You got to, look. What? <laughs> Right, just do something that isn't freakish book, please. <clears throat> right, elf with a stick, going off with a goat and a smaller goat. Their faces are weird, it frightens me, but at least it's conceptually not too bizarre. That will do. That will do. Just re-notice that Santa's mouth is escaping from his face. That'll do, book. That'll do. Right, enough of that. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and jolly potato harvest to those who celebrate.
Stop. Drive. Boy. Boy.